Welcome to solving two-step equations. When solving any equations, whether it be one-step or two-step equations, the goal is going to be to isolate the variable, meaning to get the variable by itself on one side of the equation. Talking about sides of an equation, when we're solving equations, we want to remember that they have a left, a right, and a middle. In this example right here, 2x plus 4 is equal to 7. The middle of any equation when you're solving it is the equal sign. And once we have the middle defined, it's easy to define the left and the right in their proximity to the middle. On the left of this equation, we have the variable expression 2x plus 4. And on the right-hand side, we have the constant number 7. So as we prog progress through this video lesson, keep that in mind. We're going to talk about left, right, and middle of an equation to isolate the variable. So let's go ahead and get this party started. To solve two-step equations, we undo the order of operations. You're going to see in the next slide how we're going to build an equation that we could solve by using the order of operations. Remember, the last two steps of the order of operations are multiplication and or division from left to right. And the second step is, or the last step is, addition and or subtraction from left to right as it appears in the expression. How to solve two-step equations by undoing that order of operations is that we do that order of operations in reverse and we undo it using the properties of equality that you should have learned about prior to this lesson. The first step is to undo any addition or subtraction, and the second step is to undo any multiplication or division that appears in the equation. We're going to see in the next slide we're going to use the order of operations to build an equation that we can solve. Building an equation using the order of operation. Let me tell you, let me warn you, this is not what you're going to be doing in the rest of this video lesson. You're going to be doing the opposite of this, but we're going to build an equation. We're going to start with a solution, and we're going to build the equation. Here are the two steps I'm going to take. First in blue, I'm going to use the multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides of my equation by 3. I'm going to use a dot to indicate multiplication here. Probably could have used a small x. 3 x times 3. We're going to write that down as 3x. On the right hand side, we have 6 times 3 to give 18. You've probably solved this one step equation before or something similar to it. 3x is equal to 18. Next, my second step, I'm going to use the subtraction property of equality. And I'm going to subtract 6 from each side. On the left hand side, don't make a mistake. On the left hand side, 3x take away 6. 3x and minus 6 are not like terms. Therefore, we have to write that down as 3x minus 6. On the right hand side, we do have a calculation that we can complete. 18 take away 6 is 12. And here, we can see we've built an equation that you're going to be able to solve. This is the kind of equation we're going to learn how to solve in this equation. We're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to undo the order of operations. Example 1, solving two-step equations. Here we have three equations that I'm going to model for you. Remember, we're going to use the reverse of the order of operations here we have them written out. 1. Undo the addition or subtraction. 2. Undo any multiplication or division. So applying those steps to problem A here, negative 5x plus 42 is equal to negative 8. Here we have plus 42, so we have to subtract a 42 from both sides. That's how we undo addition. On the left-hand side of the equation, then, we're left with negative 5x being equal to, on this side, negative 8. Take away 42 is negative 50. A 
uh, students want to guess at that real quick and say that it's positive 50 or even 38 or 34, I should say. Here, we're going to undo the multiplication of negative 5 by dividing each side by negative 5. And yeah, that is supposed to be a 5 right there. It doesn't look much like a 5, but it is. The negative 5x divided by negative 5 cancels out, leaving the x by itself. Here we're left with negative 50 divided by negative 5. That gives us a positive 10. And that is our solution. So we undid the order of operations. Example B is pretty much the same thing. The signs were a little bit different, so the arithmetic's a little bit different than it was in example A. In example B, we have negative 3x minus 27 is equal to negative 5. In this case, instead of having addition, we have subtraction. So our first step is to undo addition or subtraction. I have to undo subtract 27. So I add 27 to both sides. Uh, the reasons the 27s on the left cancel, we say they cancel is because they become 0, leaving the variable on the left-hand side, negative 3x. Negative 3 is the coefficient. Negative 15 plus 27, we want to actually subtract their absolute values and do 27 take away 15. 27 take away 15 gives 12, and since the absolute value of 27 is greater than the absolute value of negative 15. The solution to that would be positive. Therefore, we're left with negative 3x is equal to 12. Our second step is to undo any multiplication or division. Here we have multiplication with negative 3x or negative 3 times x. Therefore, we'll divide both sides of that equation by negative 3. We say that the negative 3's on the left-hand side cancel out because they do cancel out. They become 1. They divide out and become 1, leaving us the variable isolated on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have to do 12 divided by negative 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and a positive divided by a negative is always negative. At any time during the video, I encourage you to pause, to digest what I said, or even rewind. That's always a good idea. In the last equation, C, you have x divided by 6 minus 4 is equal to 16. Applying the two steps, undo any addition or subtraction. We have subtract 4 on the same side as the variable, so that's why I will add 4 to both sides. Negative 4 plus 4, they cancel out because they become 0. So on the left-hand side, that leaves us x divided by 6. On the right-hand side, 16 plus 4 is 20. Notice, I didn't say x over 6, I said x divided by 6. Therefore, the opposite of the division I see in the equation is multiplication. So I'll multiply both sides by 6. Now, on the left-hand side, the 6s do indeed cancel. They divide out by a common factor of 6, leaving 1x on the left-hand side, now isolated. And on the right-hand side, we have 20 times 6, which is 120. So as you saw in every one of the examples, I undid any addition or subtraction first, then I undid any multiplication or division next. Example one, your turn, solving two-step equations. What you're going to do now is pause the video and time yourself. Get yourself anywhere from five to ten minutes to solve these three problems. When you're done, you're going to continue the video to get the solutions to the work. Remember when you're doing this to use the two steps of undo any addition or subtraction. Then 
undo any multiplication or division. In problem A, we have negative 4x plus 28 is equal to negative 16. To solve this problem, the first thing we're going to do is undo the addition of 28 by subtracting 28 from both sides. When I subtract 28 from both sides, the 28's on the left-hand side cancel, leaving negative 4x on the left-hand side being equal to. Doing the, the math on this side, negative 16 take away 28 is going to be negative 44. Then I will divide each side by negative 4, because that is negative 4 times x. This is the second step. On the left-hand side, the negative 4s cancel out, or divide out, giving us x is equal to negative 44 divided by negative 4. A negative divided by a negative is always positive. And 44 divided by 4 is 11. So our solution here is x is equal to 11. In problem B, we have negative 2 times x minus 12 is equal to negative 18. On the left-hand side of the equal sign, we have negative 2x minus 12. So I'm going to first undo subtraction by adding 12. I add it to both sides because of the addition property of equality. On the left-hand side, the plus 12 minus 12 cancel out, leaving us with negative 2x. On the right-hand side, negative 18 plus 12, well, a negative plus a positive. The sign depends on which one has the greater absolute value. Negative 18 has a greater absolute value. So I subtract 18 and 12 to get negative 6. The next step is to undo this multiplication by dividing by the number that's in front of the variable, in this case negative 2. The negative 2, or the coefficient of the x in this case, divides out, leaving us with 1x. On the right hand side, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Final answer here x is equal to 3. Third equation here, x divided by negative 3 minus 7 is equal to 2. Again, don't get antsy and jump on multiplying both sides by a negative 3. What you want to do is add 7 to both sides. The negative 7 plus 7 on the left hand side cancel out. On the left hand side we're left with x divided by negative 3. On the right hand side we have 2 plus 7, that's pretty simple, is 9. Next, we'll undo this divide by negative 3 by multiplying both sides by a negative 3. On this side the negative 3's do in fact divide out. They cross cancel, if you will, leaving x isolated by itself. On the right hand side, 9 times negative 3 is a negative 27.